Alright, hello and welcome to Let's Play the Project Gianna demo. Project Gianna is a up-and-coming game that's been funded on Kickstarter and released a public demo the other day. And the only Let's Plays I've seen of it are actually in German, so I wanted to do it in English for my fellow English-speaking buddies. Um, anyway, so it's a two-dimensional platformer, and it's based on dual-world gameplay, which I'll just go in action. So... You start the world and you're in this, like, creepy world, but Gianna is a weird person, so she likes the creepy world, so she's all happy and has her happy little twirl power in this world. And I'm using a wired Xbox controller I picked up at GameStop. So, uh, what's it called? In this, it's, you know, move around, control stick, A to jump. You press Y to do the twirl attack, which lets you, you know, hover around. And you press X and you do a homing attack style fireball attack. And it switches you to the punk world. You can also switch between them without doing a skill by using the triggers. And the whole world morphs and the music changes. And I think that's a really cool concept. And the whole, all of the gameplay in this platformer is based on the whole changing between the two worlds things constantly. There's no limit to how many times you can do it. Example, these yellow gems only appear in the creepy world. I'll call it for lack of having a better name. And fireball attack and kill that thing, and now we're in the punk world. But see, the gems don't actually exist in the punk world. Not all of them do, it's just the yellow ones. So we jump and do the hover thingy. I missed one a lot. Doesn't matter. So, like uh, Super Mario Bros. or Sonic the Hedgehog, the goal is to get to the end of the level and collect as many of these gems as you can along the way. Uh, it pretty sure it works on the whole. You can get hit twice thing, just like Mario. Which is funny because Project Gianna goes, well, Project Gianna itself continues the, 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 the story of this character, Gianna, who I have never heard of before, but she dates apparently back to the, oh god, dates back to the, <laughs> so yeah, the homing attack doubles as a wall jump thing, and that kind of, I don't know if it bugged out or that was just me. Okay, anyway, so, like, you know, one sec, you can bounce up the freaking go diagonal, think, and go diagonal. Okay. Anyway, this is a checkpoint. The flag. Wait. So it dates back to the Atari. There's one copy on the Atari the developers have, and they gave it away as their top ten thousand dollar tier reward on their Kickstarter, which someone bought. I don't know who it was, but someone bought it, which will be given away at the launch party, which I think is cool. Anyway, then it came out as a Mario Bros. ripoff on. The NES, so Nintendo removed it because, of course, they wouldn't want a Super Mario Bros. clone. And then later, much later, like 2009, later, I think there was a Gianna game that actually came out on the DS, which is cool. But, um, uh, so yeah, the team who originally made it with the consent of the original creator of the series didn't want to go to publishers because they didn't like any of the deals they were getting. Well, hello, hello there. That was magical. Anyway. So, they went to Kickstarter, and the funding actually did succeed. They went through and they made it, which I say good for them. See, like, that that thing that was in my way vanished when I went into the cute world. Just whatever. Uh, I mean, the creepy world, not the cute world. Anyway, so, they resorted to Kickstarter, the funding went through, and they released these public levels. And it's coming first to the PC, and uh, you can get it, I don't know. You can still pre-order it on Kickstarter for the next, like, so many hours. Like, two days left as of the time of this recording. It's reached its goal, but they have stretch goals. You know, the whole spiel. So, it's pretty fun. It's kind of laggy while recording, because my computer just can't handle anything. Oh, it's weird. This game looks very good on full settings. Like, it's a very just good-looking game. Especially since this is just a work in progress. I don't know if they'll put much more work into how it looks... But right now, this recording, the game itself is on all of its lowest settings, just so it's running at a somewhat bearable frame rate. But the game itself is quite fun. I mean, it's it's standard fare, two-dimensional platforming, and it's just... The genre... Uh, besides Mario, there's no other 2D platformers that are good. Sonic the Hedgehog has since died, basically. There's a way to kind of cheat and just keep homing attack forward to go a little faster than walking, I think. Anyway, damn it. Okay, the problem with these platforms is you can go up through them, but you can't go down through them. So if I accidentally jump too high or use the homing attack wrong, I have to walk all the way down these platforms again. And that's kind of annoying. We're going to just screw those gems because I'm too impatient. 
Whee! You can also jump on things to kill them. Like a certain Mario game. That has in all of them. Uh, so yeah, the game, to its credit, rips off both Mario and Sonic by having a homing attack, a spin attack, kind of like, uh, kind of like the raccoon suit, but different. But the game is, I feel like it's original enough to stand up on its own. So yeah, it's, sorry, I keep getting off topic. It goes, it's coming out on PC, and all the plan for Xbox Live Arcade and PSN, and ooh yeah, that weird Android console thing that you may or may not have about raised 8.5 million dollars on Kickstarter, blah de blah looks cool. It's coming out to that too. Okay, so, the game, this demo has two levels, and they both have the same music, which is disappointing. But, the song is not bad, and there are two of them, you know, switching between them. This level also sucks. I've played through this once, and those ghosts teleport you back to the beginning of the level. They also die in this heart thing. Oh, come on, I was in the- no! See, see that sign that says, they light on fire if you're in the heart thing? I was in the heart thing, and they did not light on fire. Also, there's two different sets of ghosts, one for the cute world, one for the creepy one. I'm gonna hide in here. Let's see if it lights on fire or not. Yay, it lit on fire, cool. Anyway, so this entire level just becomes avoid those things at all costs. Alright, we're in the happy world. No, we're in the... Okay, we are in the happy world, so I can use the homing attack. Oh, that's nice. Okay, then. This way. So, yeah, the game controls pretty well. The controls are very tight and responsive, especially when the game's not lagging. Which it is because my computer sucks. I don't know how many times I can say that. That was good. Shoot, 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 shoot. Twirl. Homing attack so you go away. Homing attack so you go away. No. Homing attack. Homing attack. Okay. See, so yeah, I'm sorry the commentary is boring. I really just don't know what to say. Frickin'. Nope. Nope. There are a few bugs. I actually was trying to record this a little while ago, and I got stuck in a wall, so I had to restart. But besides that, the game is going very nicely. It feels very, very good for a, a work in progress. I don't know if it has an actual release date yet. So, all in all, I'd suggest getting it, because it looks cool. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking about the state of the game, and I'm going to talk about what I'm actually doing, which is going to amount to nothing more than jump, Homing attack. Freaking that. Those spike things. I never noticed them. Checkpoint. Okay. Water kills you. Standard platformer. You're not allowed to swim for any some reason. Come on. Come on. Go down. Go down. Go on. Good. Okay. Homing attack. No, no, no. Jump. Flutter. Flutter. Okay. That's an interesting word for it. Twirl. God, I keep thinking those spikes are going to hurt me that come out of this thing. Okay. What I got there was a shield. Wait. Oh, and anytime you, like, hit with a homing attack, you hit an enemy, you're allowed to use it again, so... If people get really good at this, they can probably just, like, skip their way through most of a level, which is a really good homing attack combination. I don't, I don't know. I can't speak, ever. It's bad. You know, ah, it's... Whoa, the frame rate just exploded. Cool. Let's try that again. Think. Off the wall. No, 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 no. Yay. Thankfully, I don't think there's an actual amount of lives I've got. Land on it. Jump up that way. And it's not enough. There's gotta be... I'm doing something wrong here. Um, I'm gonna... Should I keep trying? I'm gonna keep trying. Oh, there we go. Up here. Up here. All the gems. Alright, so there's nothing special. For switching between them. I can't get up there for any reason. So I'm gonna jump over there and twirl. Also, while twirling it out, I'm allowed to change. Alright, so I'm just gonna go down. This reminds the twirling reminds me of something. It's oh, in uh New Super Mario Bros. when you jump off of like a spring, you do this twir the same twirling thing. That's where it's reminding me of. 
Wow, thanks. So. Oh my god, that was a far leap. I think. Alright. Let's go this way. Checkpoint. Oh boy, moving platform. Okay, I'm gonna collect these things and. Oh, this is annoying. Ooh, gems. What? 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 Okay. okay. We're just gonna go up now. Yeah. So yeah, like, example, when you're in the other world, they go this way, so you can switch the worlds to redirect these. I don't know, it's cool. Only the circular ones, though. My only complaint is it's really kind of hard to tell what specifically will change behavior in each world. Like, there's no real indicator that these things will change behavior unless you just go and do it. And I made that jump somehow. Like, it's- I get it, the monsters will always change. But some of the- some of it just feels trial and error. I feel like there's, like, a little particle effect or something they could do. Okay, this took me a while to figure out the first time. Changing worlds make them same direction, so you have to use that to your advantage. Go down, go down, go down, go down, come on. Go down. Take two. Okay. Making it awesome. Yeah, that that puzzle is annoying. And lo and behold, it's the end of the level. Is there anything else? Ooh, there's something up there. I feel like I can get to somehow. Come on. There's no grabbing on the ledges or anything, so I don't know if I'll be able to... Oh! Oh! Oh, that is a nice secret. That's nice. Whoop. I wonder if there's anything else, like walking through walls. Nope, nope. Alright, I'll take that getting that, though. That was nice. Alright, let's go down and finish the level. Oh god, I missed the ending. Oh god, that will kill me, I bet. Wanna find out? Yeah, let's find out. Nah, nah, it's gonna kill me. We're gonna we're gonna end level now. Awesome. And yeah, back up on Kickstarter. The game's cool. So there's a weird little let's play in English of this game. Sorry my commentary is so weird. I don't know how to speak. <laughs> I never speak English correctly. I don't know, I'm bad. 